hey another day another video about bitwig and first of all i want to thank everyone who commented under my last video about this random rambo patch and one guy one commenter actually mentioned great idea but too complicated use one dice module with one modulator out module duplicate it so often you need it and then use one trigger module to trigger all the dices and he's absolutely right and i've done that i've done that and i saved the preset which is called rando rambo 2 and it's also in my github repository and i didn't know that you can actually use a dice module and every time you trigger a dice module it generates a random value and also it holds that value until you trigger it again which is exactly what we need for this preset and um, when you didn't watch my video about this render rainbow patch it's about creating a new preset for a synthesizer which we have on this fx box here down below um, with the push of a button so every time i push this this button we generate a new preset and this works pretty nice so i can basically push a button generate different values these values are applied to all kinds of um, parameters inside the pulley synth and we have every time we push this button a new preset and it's pretty nice um, to have some inspiration sometimes and i really like this preset and i want to develop this further with more um, devices in the chain maybe maybe um, actually modulate more um, effect uh, devices down the line down down the chain and yeah maybe uh, we get a parameter or an option where we can actually convert these modulated values as you can see here in the blue to current values or real values so the knob positions would switch when we convert the values and then we can save this new generated preset as a real preset and use it in our daily production life this would be pretty nice uh, to have um, uh, pretty nice to generate uh, many many presets yeah that's it that, that was an update to my yesterday's video but in today's video i want to talk about a gravity modulator i created and someone on facebook um, wrote tonight i dreamed about the force modulator which always pushes a parameter up or down slowly so for example if i moved a knob with my controller after i stopped moving it the modulator will push the parameter down or up again in a defined speed till it reaches a predefined point is something like this possible already and i wrote yes next video and this is this video so i want to show it to you and you, as you can see here i have a ground value and this ground value is applied to this cut off uh, parameter so a bit bigger and then you have this target new target uh, knob here and every time you turn this this value will be used but slowly applied okay so watch this cut off until when i turn this knob so now i am moving the knob and the new value is applied and when i stop turning the knob it will be go back to zero again or to the not zero to the ground level which is which is exactly there start moving and it applies the new parameter and when you stop it goes back to the ground signal or ground level and this is a pretty uh, simple setup actually and i can show it to you i have a big display here so i can see the value what it's what it's doing if I start moving, the dot is actually moving uh, too. And when I release the button, it goes back to the ground value. 
And as you can see, we have one value here, that's the base value. This is um, where um, the value goes back to and the target value. And the base value is used all the time. It goes straight through the select and these gravity uh, delays or lag devices. And in an absolutely uh, zero position, everything, uh, the, the top line is used. So we have this base value applied and this lag applied. And then it goes to this modulator and then we have the point at this position, as you can see. And the bottom line is basically this knob value uh, change the target value. And we have this comparing uh, module here, which is a com comparator as assessing if two signals are unequal. So um, I'm using the current value of this knob and the value uh, 100 22 milliseconds delayed from this uh, position. So it's basically compare the current value and compare the value uh, 100 milliseconds in the in the past. And if they different, then say yes. And every time this uh, module here says yes, I select this bottom line. So as you can see, when I turn this, the select switches the bottom line. So every time I move this knob, this value is actually used and not the top value. Okay? So, um, and then this value is, is, is going into these two lag devices here, which basically um, represents the gravity, which is the speed that the, the dot goes back to the base value again and the bottom one is the force which is actually the speed which the dot goes to the target value so you can, have, can define different speeds for the different values and when I turn this knob there's also this bottom line used for the force because then we want to have the um, the speed for the target value used. Okay? And when I release the knob, I use the top line here uh, for the gravity speed. But this also introduces a problem uh, because I have these parameter jumps when I start the knob moving again in between the states. So as you can see, when I move and then I stop and move again, then I have some jumps that the parameter jumps to another position. And I also have this problem that sometimes Bitwig completely stops applying logic to this select button here. So this is a bug, I think. Um, okay. But um, if you want to uh, surpass this problem with the, with the um, parameter jumps, you can completely um, remove this and use just one line of gravity um, lag device. Then R2 speeds the, sp uh, the, the move to the target value and uh, the moving speed to the base value is the same then you have no parameter jumps, but you can also uh, apply different values to the different uh, uh, states. A good use case for this preset would be a live act where you want to go crazy with your presets, and but you also want to make sure that it goes back to your original sound at some time, so you don't go too far at some at certain levels. So. Um, yeah, this preset is available in my GitHub repository. You can download it. And um, if you have some suggestions for making this better, then leave me a comment or update my GitHub with a pull request. And um, 
yeah i will make an update video about this one when i have some changes um also someone commented under my bitwig 3.0 uh, studio video um that's the schroeder reverb algorithm no grid is nice but the modules are high level you can't make your own dsp algorithms you will always be dependent on the developers for that choose stuff like reactor core or make msp grid won't do it yes at the moment grid just came out that's the first iteration the first version and you can't do that right now but i'm pretty sure we get low level stuff um, in the next next versions in the next updates and hopefully we get some stuff where we can create our own interfaces for the presets this would be pretty nice what do you think let me know in the comments um, leave a thumbs up if you like the video a thumbs down when you don't like it and um, yeah until tomorrow. I see you. Bye.